This is from uh, Sefer Sha'arek Dusha. Talks about something that we started to talk yesterday is about jealousy and why jealousy is, is bad. Yesterday, we said that uh, jealousy at the end brings to hatred. Now, the regular assumption will be that, let's say, for example, I'm jealous at Shmaya, and eventually I'm going to hate him. Yeah. But the point is that at the end, it's all going to be God's fault. Because I am going to be upset because I'm jealous of him. I'm not just going to hate him. I'm going to hate whoever gave him and did not give me. That's why in Aseret Adibut and the Ten Commandments, Lotachmod corresponds, the last of the ten, corresponds with the first of the ten is Ani Hashem Elokecha, I am God, your God. When a person does not uh, realize that everything he has or doesn't have and his friends has or doesn't have, it's all God's will. When you don't realize it, you think that there is another reason for that, uh, that's when, that's when I desire something that's not mine, that's why I become jealous, and that's why I, I bring hatred. Now, more than that, we always wonder why is, for example, Mashiach is not coming, why is, you know, you know the, the, there's no salvation, we are in a state to the state we're at. Sefer Sharek Dusha says the following, Ein ben David ba atshetusar hakinah. Jealousy is not something that is going to go away. Jealousy is something that you need to remove from you. In other words, Mashiach is not coming because we are jealous at one another. As it says in Sefer Yeshaya, Ephraim, Yeshaya, Isaiah 42, 11. Verse? 12. 12. 13. Oh. Ephraim ben Yekirin? Ephraim lo yekanet Yehuda. Ephraim should not be jealous at Yehuda. It not, that's, that doesn't really mean specifically those tribes. In other words, it's an example of how fractions of, of the nations would not be jealous of one another. Even the angels were, 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 were demoted because of that. It was higher. Shehen lahem rak shesh knafayim. Vayu ha'ul shtem esre knafayim. Samhel had 12 wings and the regular had 6. Venekar min ha'gdusha bishvil kina al adam. And so is the nefilim, azayin, azayel, nitredu min ha'olam al shenit kanu bebnei adam. So of course this is, this is an analogy for us to understand that even at the higher spiritual level, once you have jealousy, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to fall down from that. And together with that falling down, you're not going to be holy anymore. So, and, and it's, it's terrible. And he says, V'kol mi sheyesh kina ba'atzmotav markivin. Anybody that has a smidgen of jealousy in his bones, his bones will rot. Why would his bones rot? What does it mean his bones rot? Because that jealousy does not allow you growth and strength. So therefore, you're going to be weakened. Jealousy, and as a result of that hatred, will cause you to weaken yourself. Your life is not considered to be life anymore. All what motivates you is jealousy. You're not concentrating in building. You're concentrating in acquiring what is not yours. What somebody else has. Instead of going out and getting, you're wasting this precious energy on why I don't have and why it is have and why me and, and I should have gotten it and I deserve it and feeling entitled and so on and so forth. If you're going to take half of the amount of energy that you waste on feeling entitled and you're going to put it in something, doing something that is positive, boy oh boy, you're going to reach high levels and you're going to acquire much more than you do. But what happens? We're lazy. We're lazy. We want somebody to give it to us. You need to remove it. You need to do it yourself. And that's why a person, he says, You should be happy even if you have a little bit. All these people, Rabbi Elazar ben Padat Vezulatam. This world is nonsense. 
Nonsense. You want to know what nonsense is? I'm going to tell you what nonsense is. You look pictures of your grandparents when they were young. Look at pictures of your parents when they were young. Look at your grandparents before they died. What a nonsense. You know, your people, nobody, you know, dies, you know, at old age from this world, feeling like being ripped like a beast, you know, with all <laughs> muscles and all that. You end up like an old man with no hair and like this, frail with a, you know, the whole nine yards. This is all nonsense. We pay attention to nonsense. You know, it doesn't make <coughs> it doesn't make a difference if you have a Ferrari or you're driving a Fiat. I mean, they both came from the same factory. You know that, right? <laughs> or, <laughs> or you or you have or you have a you know. I, I'll tell I tell you the truth. You know, if you're talking about common sense, probably Honda is better than Ferrari. It's more reliable. Ferrari, you know, you will break. I mean, two seconds, a very finicky car. But it's the nonsense. You spend thousand dollars on leasing a BMW, and then you cry. Why the yeshiva charges money? You know, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. You spend if if you spend a thousand dollars a a month on a lease for a car. Forget about insurance. Forget about gasoline. You're spending twelve thousand dollars a year on a car, and yet if a school would charge you twelve thousand dollars to 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 educate your kids, you would complain. So in other words, the car is more important than your kid. Don't tell me later on you care about your kids. So this is all nonsense what we're talking about. Nonsense. Hevel havalim. Hevel havalim. And ve'ikar ha'olam haba olam ha'emet ve'iftach be'ashem. The truth is olam haba. The world to come. And you have to have bitachon in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'll finish with a joke. This is more of like a lesson than a joke. The guy prays to Hashem, prays to God. He says, God, give me everything so I could enjoy life. Give me everything I asked for so I could enjoy life. God answers him, I gave you life. Why don't you start enjoying what I gave you? Have a great day.